guys, so what I'm going to quickly do in this video demonstration is cover a few more mobility exercises. This time, um, these are hurdle specific um, mobility based exercises. Okay, so what we're going to do here is a frontal step over. Alright, so just stepping over to the front and back, over and back, over and back, using the one leg. Okay, so what you ideally need is to set the bar below knee height, um, you can really hear it called tibial tuberosity, all right, so you want it in around this height, okay, so as you can see here, this is just below knee cap height, what I've done is just use two uh, chairs, and basically run the dowel across, okay, so all I'm going to do then, is step in so that my toes are just, just back, about an inch or two back, um, from the alignment of the actual bar setting, okay? So I don't want my feet under, and I don't want to be too far back, because it's too easy then to step over, okay? So just eyeball it straight down, so you're a little bit back off it, okay? You can have your hands down to your side, on your hips, or up on your head like so, all right? And what you want to do is literally, I'm gonna have to hold on here for a second, is literally come up, step straight over, down, and straight back. Now again, you could even start like this, initially just stepping over and back. What you don't want is any outward movement, any type of lateral motion, okay? So you don't want to turn the knee out and the foot inwards, okay? You don't want to turn the knee in and the foot out, all right? So no type of compensation here. We want it just to be straight over and straight back, pulling our toe up, not pointing our toe down, okay? So again, like I said, you could start here if you wanted, hands on for support. Step over, step back, straight over, straight back, okay? And then progress it. Okay, and obviously you wanna do equal number of repetitions on the right leg and left leg. Now if I just turn this maybe, So, maybe here you'll get a better idea of it. Okay, so again, just stepping over and back, over and back, over and back. Now you are going to feel a little bit of your weight shift to the support leg, okay? So if you're stepping over your left, you're gonna feel that weight shift to your right, and if you're stepping over your right, you're gonna feel the weight shift to your left. What you wanna do is minimize it, okay? So that's the first one, that's uh, forward and back step overs. Then what we have is lateral step overs, okay? So this time instead of stepping over, Facing into the dell, we're going to stand side onto it, and we're going to step over here. Except this time what we're going to do is step over with both legs. So I'm not just going to come here like so, and back. I'm going to come across with my right, then with my left. Right and left. So again, right, left, right, left. And again, there's no casting out of the lower leg, okay? There's no pointing of the toe. We pull the foot up, pull the toe up, and step over. Now, if I wanted to make this higher, I would take some pillows. makes it a little bit more challenging. And again, if you don't have chairs with a free back like this, pretty simple. All you gotta do is turn around this way, and again, you're sorted. Okay, so front step overs and then we have lateral step overs. 
Next one then we're going to do will be next one will be a tri leg pull through. Let me just get my setup. So I'm just going to use this piece of equipment that I have here. I'm going to place it to my side. I'm going to place it to my left hand side because I'm working my left uh, side hip. I'm going to hold on to the wall. My feet are going to be back behind this um, hurdle. And then from here, with my left side, I'm going to pull my foot over, okay, so bring my knee up, foot follows the knee, and I, so it's a circular type motion, okay, it's a trail leg pull through, you almost want to think about your, your knee coming up and under your armpit and your foot is just following suit, okay, and we can do these in both directions, so I can come forward, and I can go backwards, Okay, now you can lean into it a little bit more if you want or come a little bit closer. Don't bring your feet any more than maybe six inches, um, your toes any more than six inches closer than the front of the actual hurdle you're stepping over. Now you're probably thinking, well I don't have one of these hurdles to step over, what can I use? Pretty simple. All you need is an object. So again, we can just place a chair. Use that as a guide. And place something on it to make it a little bit higher, a little bit more challenging. work just work with what you have around use what you have in the house to set these um <clears throat> set these drills up last one then is a seated tray leg pull through so for this one we're gonna sit down on the ground one leg out straight the other leg out to the side the heel back in towards the buttocks gonna place the hand down on the ankle just above uh, the tongue of your trainer, your shoe, okay? Other hand down on the ground for support so it keeps your body upright. There will be a little bit of a shift in weight towards the support side. And then from here I'm gonna pull my foot around so it's flat on the ground and then bring it back, stretching out the hip through here and back in. Now again, you can hold and then pull through, pull back and hold, and then pull through. Again, it's okay if there's a little bit of a lean towards the support side, perfectly fine. So again, seated in my hurdle position, heel in towards the back side on this side, hand low down on the shin, and pull through, and back, get a stretch, pull back, this hand down for support. And again, the good thing about this, you know, I'm opening up the hip on this side, but also on this side, again, a little bit of a hamstring stretch going on. Okay? So again, there's four different hurdle mobility type exercises that you can perform. We had the front step over, we had the lateral step over, we had the standing trail leg pull through forwards and backwards. So it cir circles forwards, circles backwards. And right here we had the seated hurdle trail leg pull through. All right, so four different hurdle mobility exercises for you to incorporate.